G'day ladies and gents, and welcome back to Cold Waters with Mags. Sorry for the... Oh, we have contact. Cool. Um, sorry for the delay between this and the last video, but uh, things have been a little nuts. But we are back at this, and we are going to complete Epic Mod's uh, 1984 campaign. So, picking up from where we were last time, we were sent on a mission to locate a Soviet ballistic missile submarine that took damage and was trying to limp its way back home. Um, we have managed to intercept a submarine that was heading in the right direction. I'm not sure if this is going to be the right target. But uh, unfortunately, this is going to be a little bit of an awkward one. Actually, I'll show you why. Conditions-wise, you'll notice we're only in 500 and, well, 550 feet rounded up uh, feet of water here. We're right on the coast, just off Norway. Now, the problem is... Um, if you guys have seen any of the previous videos where I'm playing uh, Dodge the Torpedo... That's an Echo 2. That might actually be our target. Because that does fit the description. It's an older ballistic missile submarine, but it does check out. So... Yeah, anyways, the, um... The issue is you want significantly more than that. You nearly need a thousand feet maneuvering room in order to be able to dodge torpedoes effectively. So if we get fired on here, we are going to require heavy usage of the MOS and uh, heavy usage of countermeasures. We are not going to be able to avoid torpedoes. Now we do have the tow array out at the moment. We are not picking up anything else in the water. It's actually fairly quiet. I'm going to make a gentle right hand turn here according to this we're only 6.8 kilo yards out but I'm it's only a 35% solution so I'm not trusting that positioning at the moment it'll be on that bearing I just don't know for sure that it'll be there active sonar will pick us up passive it won't if it's accurate I would like a better signal than that before I fire heading in our direction all right we're not going to have the option for a better signal we're going to have to fire on it if it's heading towards us and closing in and it's that close the good part is the echo is uh very nearly deaf the downside is is with this mod i'm not sure that actually you know means anything before I fire conditions, what's it at? A little bit close to the surface, surface, no duct. Alright. I get the torpedo away. I'm going to send it up here to the upper right, uh, to the, the upper left, rather. Hopefully, it won't immediately detect this and counterfire. Nope, there's counterfire. Alright. Two torpedoes fired. We're going to turn on to target. Track tow array, and we're going to have to charge them to try and get inside of the torpedoes. It's the only really safe option at this distance. Just want torpedo to go active. We're going to active ping ourselves, just so we can confirm location of target. There it is. Going to flank. And set depth to 400. Can't really. On the upside, the Echo is not really going to be able to do much in the way of maneuvering to dodge our torpedo. The downside is that uh, we're not going to be able to do much of the same. We are getting into deeper water, so let's get down to 500. Make depth five, zero, zero, eight, nine, nine. Whoa, really? Yeah, let's stay 450 then. Right to two, three, six, tell 
we've lost the wire on that torpedo. Again, and see if we can get a return on their torpedoes and see if we can detect them. John, maneuvering, making turns four, two, nine, nine. No return on the torpedoes, but I know their torpedoes aren't active because I'm not getting pings off their torpedoes. There's one, there's two. All right. comes down to when these things are going to go active. Yeah, Echo's at 25 knots. <clears throat> Actually, surprising the Echo 2 can even get that fast. And Torpedo is active. We are not going to dodge that. We are not going to dodge that. So there's no point now. It's dropped to five. Dropped four. Torpedoes detected us. Current speed. We're going to have to reverse to get down to ten. Moss is away. Countermeasure deployed. Going back to flank. Torpedo. Oh shit, we're on the bottom, we're on the bottom, we're on the bottom. That was dumb. I didn't realise it had gotten that shallow. Wow, it's back up to 450. Alright, are we flooding? No, but we may. If we get hit by a torpedo now, we're done down to 54% because we clipped the bottom. On the upside, no flooding. Bow sonar looks like it's taken damage. Alright, silly as it sounds, I'm actually going to make a left hand turn here. Because I don't want to get too close on the off chance. our torpedo doing. So I'm going to do a 180. Complete 180. So our torpedo is going off into the nether here. Yeah, Echo is now in our baffles. I have no idea what happened to their torpedoes. Better double check my hull here. Yeah, we did only hit the bottom. None of their torps actually did hit us. Alright, torpedo looks like it's reacquired on the new countermeasure on the Echo. So once we've gotten this around, I'm going to reset depth to 250 feet. We have enough room for that. We're down to 400. Jesus, we have no room here. That got shallow really fast. That went from 600 to 450 feet in not a lot of distance. This countermeasure deployed. Once I've got this around and facing north, I'm going to deploy the uh, towed array again and see whether or not we can actually actually pick her up and see what that torpedo is doing. See if we can pick up the rest of their torps as well, because they've just disappeared, which makes me nervous. Hopefully they dove down and slammed into the bottom. That would be nice, but... Right, 
right as a negative 10. Yep, let's neutralize there. Total ray deploying. Let's see what we can see. really don't like the fact that our torpedo is unguided and it's heading in our direction at the moment. The Echo needs to go away from here. Far, far, far away, preferably. Pings are getting faster. Torpedo away. That echo is still alive. It's sitting down here at the moment. That torpedo just. Yeah, did not hit. I'm not sure how the Echo survived, to be perfectly honest. Alright, solution on the Echo 2 is up to 63%. And we're bringing the torpedo straight into its baffles. I cannot believe I ate the bottom like that. That is gonna hurt. We're gonna have to go back to port and get another hull fix. And that one had nothing to do with the mod. That was me just not tracking the depth that I was at. An active ping from the Echo. And... Is it acquired over there? Unless that's not where the Echo is. Ah, oh, it's further away than we thought. Significantly further away than I thought. Alright, so now we got a good look at it. Did we actually hit this or not? Oh yes, we did hit it. It did hit it and it did survive. The torpedo hit the back section. Engines are still running, but she must have some serum. That's her ballast blowing. struggling to make the surface even in water this shallow. Torpedo's playing funny buggers with the countermeasures again, so we're going to take manual control here. And we're going to guide her in from the map. So torpedo running to the surface. There's the target. Should be a perfect mid shot. And down she goes. On the upside, this water isn't particularly deep, so the crew should be able to get out of this one. Those that, you know, didn't die in the multiple torpedo explosions, of course, and the flooding and all the other horrible things that happens when a submarine sinks, but yeah. They are close enough that the escape systems should actually function. And, and they should definitely be able to find and dredge the wreck at this point. Alright, so Echo 2 was sunk. 5,850 tonnes. It took us two torpedoes, so we're down to 13. And we had to waste another MOS to get past the torpedoes. And we lost our bow sonar, which is... Um, that was uh, my stupid mistake. On the upside, did we actually complete the mission? Yes, we did. Great work with those boats, Captain. Your contribution to the war effort will make the transit for our convoys much safer. Go on, Captain. Further orders to be transmitted on this downlink. All right. So, news report. Convoys protected. Incident involving tax on transatlantic convoys by hostile submarines in and around Gromica have rapidly diminished. Okay. So, we've cleaned up some of the submarine issues. 
Lofton Islands. The warships are armed with long-range cruise missiles that could wreak havoc on vital NATO supply convoys. You are ordered to intercept and destroy this task force. No other friendly units are in a position to intercept in time. I've got to go back to port. Well, this could be a little bit of an issue. Anyways, ladies and gents, hope you enjoyed the video, and thank you very much for watching. And uh, we'll work out what we're going to do with this in the uh, next video. Till next time, take care.